appreciate you taking the time out and coming down to New Haven um, to celebrate our grand opening with us. This was a major decision um, for our company, but I'm glad that all of you guys showed up here to celebrate with us. This room is very dear to us. We spend um, our heart and soul building to make sure that it is going to be feasible for both businesses in New Haven, residents of New Haven, and also Vase. As you guys know, and I gave you, I don't want to bore you with the details, so I did give you um, some information about what this office is going to be doing. But essentially, it's about getting work and getting the work done, helping each other so that we can get the work done. Um, coming, um, growing up from uh, a construction family back in Ghana, I watched my family since I was zero years old doing construction. And my dad was the head of road and civil engineering. He had five girls and two boys, and all of the girls went into construction. <laughs> so what I do remember growing up is that when they were doing work, it was a family. You know, whether they were working with us or they were working with another family, it was a family um, business. And that's sort of how we build our business. So when we come here to New Haven, everyone that's from New Haven, you're always welcome here to this office. Whether you're a business trying to do business with us or you're a resident trying to get some help from us, we want you guys to know that our door is always open for you. So again, thank you so much for welcoming us into New Haven. Before we start the presentation, I do want to acknowledge that all the paintings around you here is from local artists here in New Haven. Um, where are my artists? Where is Sarah, Mark, Ade, and Aleska? Can you please raise your hand? <laughs> They came here and built the place with us and then they put that final touch that looks so beautiful. So thank you guys for making the place great. Um, there are so many people that help us to put all of this together in, um, in about a few weeks. So thank you again. Um, I would like to um, have uh, Mrs. Tony Harp come up and say a few words because being in New Haven, I know that um, many of us here are new, um, like myself coming from Bridgeport here. There's a few of our subcontractors that we work with that are also from Bridgeport and coming here. Um, thank you for welcoming us and I would like you to say a few words. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Vincentia, right? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful name. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I just want you to know how happy I am to be here among all of you for this celebration of the success of one more local business, a celebration in the progress of New Haven and the entire region. Today, we formally welcome the Vase Construction Company to its facility here. So can we give V a round of applause? We're together today to acknowledge the company's presence, likewise, and we welcome and embrace its commitment to New Haven, to the residents of the Housing Authority and their businesses. And I'm really thrilled to be here with Karen DeBose Walton and the work that she does every single day, housing people, but beyond that, making sure that small businesses here in the city can participate in what it is that she does to make housing available to everyone and to support the businesses that emanate from her residents. So can we give her a round of applause? <laughs> we are really grateful for your faith in our community. And this afternoon we are basically welcoming you to our town and we believe that it signals private sector confidence in the future growth within the city and as well nearby. Your coming here from Bridgeport means that not only do you believe in Bridgeport, because we know you do, but you believe in us as well. And that this is a great place to start a business that you have access to uh, our northern um, partners uh, up 95 as well as to the valley. So we are positioned here in New Haven for you to do business throughout the region. The other thing that makes me feel good about what it is that you do is that you provide expertise and you help some of our small businesses actually go to that next level and uh, maximize what it is that they want to do with their businesses. So I think that's really important. 
The most important thing, though, is that you do it here. We wish you all of the success in the future. We are going to be recommending that people who can be advantaged by the services that you provide come here. I want to thank you for welcoming all of them here. And again, uh, I wish you great success. As a matter of fact, New Haven depends upon it. And you can send some more of those businesses from Bridgeport <laughs> right here to New Haven. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. We will. And um, just a quick one uh, to touch base on what Tony said. Um, you know, sometimes people get confused about you know what Vase does uh, because one day they will see me in jeans and boots on the field, and then one day they will see me in a suit sitting down on a one-on-one -on -one with a contractor. And I'll tell you how that happened. When I first started, especially um, in the construction, I know construction in, in Ghana because I, I learned it, but here I did not know. For, so when I first started, all the things that I was confused about and I had to learn from scratch, I see a lot of smaller companies asking the same questions. So after a while of answering the same questions to so many, because we weren't just builders, we also wanted to help the businesses that we work with. But it became a lot of businesses that we were helping. So then we decided to go forth and um, continue the technical assistance. So because somebody helped us to get this far, so it made sense for us to also help somebody to get far. So um, thank you for acknowledging that, and I'm glad that we're going to be helping New Haven businesses as well. So. Karen, thank you so much for everything. I um, I have to say a little story about um, New Haven. When I first started the business, New Haven was one of the um, agencies that I worked with um, for many years. I learned so much from the housing authority because one of the things that I, I love about the housing authority is that when you're working with the housing authority and you don't understand something, whoever it is that you're working with, and I see Sheila is right over there. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> I worked with Sheila for many years before she retired, but um, anyone at the Housing Authority will explain to you, you know, how to do it, what to do. And through that, again, we learn, and for that reason, we can transfer the um, learning. So thank you for educating our business for all these years, and thank you for still being here for us. So this is Karen from the New Haven Housing Authority. Thank you, V. It is great to see so many people here. I am Karen Dubois Walton. I'm the executive director for what we're now calling Elm City Communities, uh, which is the new name for the Housing Authority. Um, and it reflects our vision that we build communities, that we're more than uh, just housing. And when I asked about our, our mission, it really for me boils down to that we're in the business of trying to end poverty, um, breaking cycles of poverty for families. And we may work one family at a time, but that's the mission we're in. Um, so you are in uh, our Fairhaven development right now, which is one of those examples of a community that we came together um, to do more than just provide housing, but to provide opportunity for families as well. We built it with commercial space, um, and we couldn't have found a better tenant for our commercial space than a business like Vase Management, who's partnering to try to help our residents um, and other small businesses to be successful. Uh, and so we're really excited about this and its intersection with our resident-owned businesses. Um, this is a place that any of our residents from any of our developments can stop in um, and get some help in conceptualizing a business they may have um, and really moving that from an idea um, to a reality. Um, and we have a number of uh, very successful resident-owned businesses that have started with the support of, of uh, V. I have to tell a little story because I've known V now for uh, ten, probably 10 years or so. Um, and the kind of effort V made is the kind of effort that we see her helping instill in residents and supporting in residents because V got it in her mind that she was going to do business with us and she called and I didn't call her back fast enough and she <laughs> called me again and we, Sheila and I were on our way to the, um, the business, what was it called? The Greater uh, New England. Uh, over there. Uh, yeah. Right. The, um, Right, we were on our way there. <laughs> exactly. And V got word that we were going to be there. Um, and she was persistent in making sure that she got into our office beforehand to create a relationship um, so that we could go up there and really be successful at that in talking with other businesses about how we might partner. Uh, we spent a lot of money in this community. Just in our redevelopment, we've spent about $500 million in redeveloping. Um, that's money that's going back into this community that, that has the opportunity to build wealth in this community. Um, and she wanted to make sure that we were doing it in a way that was helping small businesses. Um, and from that fr first meeting around my conference table, 
um, grew a partnership that has now lasted uh, for, for over 10 years and developed to the point that you are now here actually on site in our space. And so we're thrilled about that um, because that's the real model. Um, I want to take a minute to recognize that if you're here from Elm City Communities, just raise your hand so people can see. This is the staff that has um, designed and overseen the, the, uh, the work on this, on this project and on many projects throughout the city. And it's also the set of people that are working uh, hand in hand with our residents to help them move forward. So I'm excited that this is a place. I'm excited how welcoming it is that anyone can stop in here. Um, and get that assistance. Um, and I'm excited to see so many of you because if you haven't had an opportunity to work with us yet, to partner with us, we're interested in that. I wanna leave here with a, a pocket full of business cards from people that I haven't yet met so that we can continue supporting Mayor Tony's vision, which is that this is a city that's thriving around employment opportunities, education opportunities, and that it's a safe and healthy community for us all. Um, we work in partnership with that. We wanna be in partnership with all of you. Thank you, V. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, before um, we go out, and I, I do want to thank everyone for being here. I did want to just highlight a few names. Um, thank you for helping us to put this office together. Thank you for coming out here to support us, um, both businesses from New Haven and um, from um, else places that we've been working with. Um, Sheila Allen Bell, thank you so much. Hi, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The office of um, Richard Blumenthal, I, I know that uh, there's someone here represented him. Oh, there he goes. Okay, great. Um, James Cole from Yale University. <laughs> uh, Frank Dixon from PTAP. Ben Florishan from Chris Murphy's office. Yes. <laughs> Joe Gannam, oh, he's not here. Oh, I think I saw. Um, oh, Lindley Gull, Lindley Gull, are you here? Hmm. I'm thinking she's on the. Don't worry, we'll thank them when they sh when they come later. It's a good thing that they're not here now because it's very tight. Um, Doug Hudson from the city of New Haven. <laughs> Eric Johnson from the Elm City Communities. Patrick from Elm City, Carrie Murphy from Yale, mm -hmm. <laughs> Hannah Sucker Holmes, and Michael, Hannah, Michael, no problem. Um, you guys, thank you also for, they actually um, gave us their input in doing the office, so thank you. Um, is Samantha um, Palumbo here? Samantha and Lou? Okay. Hi, how are you? Oh, no, no, it's okay. Did you want to do later or did you want to do now? Are you okay? Sure, why don't, you, why don't we do it real quick because we have to stop the program, so come. They, um, they had mentioned, um, oh, it's okay, you can, from Rosa Dolores' office, they had a message for us. <laughs> Rosa wanted to be here, she could not be here, so she did send some effort to come. Congratulations on celebrating your grand opening. Though I cannot be with you this afternoon, I am so excited to join the community in welcoming you to New Haven. Through the variety of services offered by BASE, you will economic development in so many ways. With your concentration on our construction industry, you will also be helping to shape the future of our communities. From management support to training, certification and licensing, from consultation and technical assistance, to employment preparation and entrepreneurial support. There is no doubt that this center will soon become an invaluable resource to New Haven and our community. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right, thank you everyone. I miss Spencer by PCA, thank you. Oh, thank, you. Oh, thank you so much. So we're going to go out real quick and cut the ribbon. And again, if I miss you, I thank you for being here. Two, one, congratulations.